Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna do some videos here on my favorites. Favorite jig trailers, favorite shaky heads, favorite flipping baits, favorite drop shot baits. Uh, I'm doing a couple series of those. Uh, should be pretty, uh, pretty interesting to show you guys what I use and what works for me on my techniques that I use. The first one's gonna be on what I use for my jig trailers. Uh, there's a lot of baits out there. There's a ton of baits out there. These are just the baits that I've used over the years and work for me. Um, the first bait is a bait that I've been using the longest. And it is the Lake Fork Hyper Freak. This is a giant paddle tail. I mean, it look giant, huge beaver paddle tail on it. Uh, wide body, it's thin. Um, this has been a jig trailer that I've used probably for eight or nine years, maybe. Um, it puts off a ton of vibration. If you're throwing jigs under docks, if you're snapping them under, uh, you know, in grass, this, this helicopter is the bait down, so it kind of slows it down. It also gives it that dying shad look or dying bluegill look. Um, it's just a killer bait. It's different. It's huge. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a very unique bait. But this is the Lake Fork Hyper Freak. That one's in green pumpkin blue. <clears throat> that's, a, that's just a good bait that I use. Uh, the next one up, I keep them in Ziploc bags because I buy them, you know, in 25 packs. Uh, and this is the Missile Baits D-Bomb. Very popular now. Um, it's got, you know, just the uh, the thin thin claws on it here, so it provides a little bit different motion to it. Um, there's no side clipping, you know, kind of like your Rage Cross or anything like that. Um, awesome bait. This is great jig and flipping bait. Um, normally, if I'm using a jig, I usually just clip off the top, <clears throat> shove it back on. Um, just, you know, he makes great colors in his in his baits. It's a lot of mixed colors, you know, green pumpkin orange swirls, um, you know, laminate colors. Great, great color here. This is the, I think, gold amber. Matches awesome with the uh, Omega TW Cross. Tons of oil on it, though. <clears throat> Next up is another one from Missile. This is a little bit bigger bait. This is the Missile Destroyer. I use this one on my bigger jigs. <clears throat> my three-quarter ounce. My seven eighths, one ounce, flipping jigs, um, going deep, throwing in heavy cover, throwing in big, you know, grass weed lines. Um, I've been using this bait for a couple of years and it has produced a ton of fish up north. This is in GP3, it's green pumpkin purple. Um, this is also an awesome trailer for um, the Omega, seven eighths Pro Mega in the uh, purple haze. And I've been using it for like the big bass bash, something, something where you need a little bit bigger uh, profile to it. It also has a nice fluttering motion to it. You know, it kind of wobbles in the uh, the water. The tentacles do. Um, same body style as the D bomb. It just has that longer, more of a creature bait look to it. The old standby. Been using these for a few years. Is the Bio Spawn Bio Crawl. If you haven't seen them, this is pretty much. I would say 80, 85% of my jigs when I'm throwing a jig, I need a little bit more compact. I've used it on my swim jig. It has a great paddle swimming motion to it. As you can see, the extra ribbing here. Um, so when you're throwing it through the water, you know, it tends to, to kick back and forth. Um, awesome, awesome bait. It is, again, it's, it's usually the one I'm throwing on my flipping jig, which I have laying down over here. Um, the other neat thing is you can just pinch off the middle here, or you can pinch off the legs and just use the middle section with the flip if you need a little bit more finesse to it. Um, it's a pretty versatile bait, great flipping bait as well, um, but that is the Biospawn Vial Crawl. This one's just in green pumpkin. Um... Let's say my last two are gonna be uh, 
This one is probably it. This is going to be the Excite Baits Raptor Craw. Uh, as you can see, it's what I use a tent, you know, mostly is for uh, football jigs. Um, the nice thing about their baits is they all float, so they're not, you know, injected with heavy salt. Um, I've known, known Lloyd for, man, it's, it's been nine years maybe. We used to work shows together down in Tennessee. Um, when he was part with this other tackle company that I was part of. Um, awesome bait. We're excite Raptor Craw. Um, you know, it's the, the really unique thing is they float. Um, the claws are a little bit different. It's a little bit thin here next to the body. Then they start getting thick in the, uh, the claw area. Uh, very nice baits. Again, another nice like punching bait because it's pretty uh, narrow profile to it. Um, and they make them in a chunk. They make them in the chunks here, which is nice for just more finesse presentation or finesse jigs. But I usually use the full size Raptor, and if I want to cut it down, I can, or I just use the uh, the full craw to it. But that is the Excite Raptor craws. Um, that is pretty much it, really. I mean, I don't use a ton of jig trailers. I usually narrow them down to two or three. If I'm fishing bigger stuff, I'm liking the bigger profiles. Uh, if I like the uh, typical flipping, skipping jigs, D-bomb, and the bio-spawn, bio-craw, those are the two baits I use for skipping docks a lot. Check us out, guys. Hope you liked it. Smash the thumbs up, smell the thumbs up. Um, getting close to our next tournament, so we're going to do a giveaway, so be on the lookout for that, and we'll talk to you guys later.